Binary codes should be very familiar to you, if not from other places, but at least from our first assignment, we talked about binary code. So just to refresh, binary code is the language that computers speak. All of our computers, even our phones and our PS4s and Xboxes, they all are going to speak binary code at the most basic level. It's made up of two possible values, ones and zeros, and a single one or a single zero is called a bit. So to help us sort of use this code, we group them into groups of eight, and we call those bytes. Each byte is one character, meaning a letter, a number, or a symbol, something you can type with your keyboard. This lesson focuses on counting with binary code, and it's actually pretty easy. So here are the eight bits which make up a byte, and each one is given a value. So we've got one, two, four, you'll see they're just doubling, eight, 16, 32, 64, and 128. All right, so let's say we want the number zero. So we don't want any value in any of these numbers because otherwise it'll be more than zero. So we just put a bunch of zeros going across. So this in binary code is the number zero. What about the number one? All right, we still want zeros in all of these, but here one is what we want. So we'll put a one here. So this is the number one. Okay, same logic for number two. Zero, 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 zero. Oh, but we do want the two, so let's put a one there. But then we don't want a one, so zero. So we just want it to be two. So we have all zeros except for a one under the two. All right, what about the number three? Okay, so zero, 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 not four yet, so zero. We do want a two, so we'll put a one here. And then we also want a 1 because 2 plus 1 equals 3, so we'll put a 1 here. So the number 3 looks like this. And it's the same pattern going for all numbers. You just get put a 1 where you want that number to be added up as part of the total to reach the number you want. So let's try some harder numbers. All right, the number 11. All right, so 0, 0, 0, 0 because it's not to 16. So we do want an 8. And then if we do a 4, that would be 12, so that's too much. So we do want a 2, that gets us to 10. So 8 and 2 is 10. We need one more, plus 1 equals 11. So this is what our binary code for 11 looks like. Okay, let's try 20. All right, 0, 0, 0. Ooh, but now we want a 16. 0, because that eight, 16 plus 8 is over 20. 4. 16 plus 4 is 20. So a 1 here and then 0, 0 because we're already there. So we have a 16 and a 4 and zeros across the rest. Alright, what about the number 29? So we're still not to 32. So 0, 0, 0. 16 plus 8 is 24 plus 4 is 28 plus 2, no, that's too much, plus 1, yes, that would get us to 29. So 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 1 equals 29. All right, one more. I figure you probably have this down. All right, so 31. So, ooh, so close, not yet 32. So 0, 0, 0. So 16 plus 8 gets us to 24, plus 4 gets us to 28, plus 2 gets us to 30, plus 1 gets us to... 31. So we're going to have a lot of ones. So 0, 0, 0, then 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 is 31. So this is how you count in binary code. Very easy.